Hey guys, welcome back to the Hearts and Cake 90. It is Brittany. So today I'm going to be giving Miss Altre Aaliyah a little haircut. So if you are interested in seeing how I trim her up and give her, you know, a different look, then keep on watching. Okay, first things first, I am not a professional, y'all. I am just you know, just using my common sense with cutting this wig. So I'm gonna be using three things. I'm gonna be using a pair of scissors, a razor comb, and an eyebrow razor to um, trim this wig up. So I would suggest that you start off by cutting the length of the wig, like using your scissors. Go ahead and cut, you know, straight across or go ahead and trim off the length that you want and then follow it up with your razor comb to thin it out because once you cut it straight across or cut the length off, it's gonna have a blunt end and it's gonna be super thick. You don't want that. So after you cut the length off, I would go ahead and comb through the towards the end of the hair to thin it out. Um, and when the eyebrow razor comes into play, I'm just using that to add layers to the front and I did use it a little bit um, to trim the hair as well, but for the most part, I'm using those three things and that's basically what I did to achieve this. Um, I just had to play around with it a lot. It took me about, I, I'd say probably 15 minutes solid to trim it up. It's not that difficult. Yeah, the, this wig started off about 22 inches and I'm six feet tall, so if you're shorter than me, it's gonna be you know, longer than that. The nature of synthetic wigs is the longer they are, they're going to tangle. So um, I definitely wanted to make it a more everyday lens. So that's why I decided to go ahead and trim it up. All right, here I am just using my paddle brush to comb out all of the shedding hair because this process can get messy and I'm just kind of cleaning up my space as I go. Um, and then I was just kind of, you know, analyzing my work so far. And then I went back with the razor comb and continued to thin it out. Um, and I'm just going to be going back and forth and deciding, you know, if it was good enough for me. So it's really just about your preference and how you want it to be. But I just knew that I didn't want it to be like, you know, thick all the way across um, and like too blunt. I wanted to kind of feather it out and make it. Um, a more natural density you know after I cut it because once you cut it it's still going to be as thick as it was it's just going to be you know shorter so you got to make sure you're thinning it out as you go okay to further thin it out I decided to take pieces from the back and thin those out because those were the spots that were the thickest so I would take small sections from the back and just thin those out individually and just keep going from there okay so something I wanted to update you guys on is the density I think the density of the actual length of the wig is great but if you see when I do the 360 for you guys in the back like at the top of the wig it is thin and it is possible to see tracks right there if you don't position the hair right. So that is a con. Um, I don't think, you know, on an everyday basis, it's going to be like super bad because I'm feel I have the wig on right now as I'm talking to you guys, and I don't feel, you know, tracks and stuff. But I had on a light wig cap, and I feel like that could be an issue. But I still do like this wig. I just noticed this time around that I did have like a thinner area at the top versus the length of the hair is a pretty good density. All right guys, so you guys saw how I, you know, cut up this wig a little bit and thinned her out. She's still not perfect. I feel like I still need to do some things to her, but overall I think Aaliyah is very pretty. I just, I just wish um, she didn't tangle that bad. And I know people's, I personally, I've been wearing wigs this year, 2020 marks 10 years. I don't think you can stop wigs from tangling. You can do stuff after the fact, like spraying detangling spray and the nape and brushing it out. But throughout the day, as you're, go, as you're wearing your wig, it's still gonna tangle. 
I just think it is. Uh, I don't think you can stop that. You can do things after the fact, but I don't think you can stop tangling. That's just in the nature of wigs. People might disagree with me, but from my experience, they just tangle, especially um, the longer you go, they're gonna tangle. Oh, I noticed after I reviewed this wig that this wig did have some shine to it. So I went back before I started trimming it and I sprayed the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo on it and I think it knocked it down a lot. So I'm gonna be wearing this wig today to go run some errands and just for the rest of the day. So, and she might be a little bit expensive. I think she was like $45 um, for the amount of tangling you get. But really all of those wet lace wigs and uh, the Bobby Boss wigs that are in the $50, $60 range, those tangled, those tangle too. They're just, at the end of the day, they're still synthetic wigs. So if you don't want to have, you know, excessive tangling and stuff, you need to invest in a human hair wig. But I know what I'm getting with my synthetic wig. So I'm just gonna, you know, wear it for a look, not wear it every single day and I'll be good. So Hey y'all, so it's hours later and I'm just looking at this wig. It looks pretty, but it's a little bit too like thick steel back here. So I'm gonna go through section by section and kind of create more of a curve shape and we'll see how it goes. For this part, there won't be much commentary because literally all I'm doing is really focusing on the back of the hair. I'm taking the razor comb and taking small sections and thinning it out um, because I just felt like the back was still a little bit too thick for my liking and that is what I did to achieve the look that I got. So that's basically it y'all. Right here you see me taking my scissors and cutting the ends of the wig vertically. And I'm doing that just so the ends are, are more feathered looking and not so like straight across and blunt. So that's just something I picked up from other people on YouTube. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna keep going, thinning it out, using my razor comb, using my eyebrow razor and my scissors every now and then. finish layering this up and thinning it out because with synthetic wigs well it would be with human hair as well when you cut it it's still going to be blunt and thick have the same thickness and everything um so I just went through with my razor comb and thinned it out and also cut it tried to do a little bit of a curve back here so I would kind of accentuate the the layers in it and I think this is cute. I've wore this out to run some errands and I don't think the lace looked that bad. It's not like completely invisible like HG Lace is on a human hair wig, but that's okay. It still gives me a really nice look and I'm here for it. I like Aaliyah. I still have Catalina as well. I did have a, a wig sale like a few weeks ago, but I decided to keep Catalina. Um, I might try her on again to see if I like it, but um, between the two, I do like Outre Aaliyah more than Catalina. Um, and it also could be the color. I think the color is stunning. Um, and now that I have cut it and thinned it out more, I feel like it's more wearable for every day. I haven't noticed like 
tons of shedding with this wig but I have noticed a lot of tangling even at this length it still tangles but I just wanted to make it more wearable for every day something that's about 16 inches long and I like it it's like a relaxed version of Outre Nisha 201 in the DRFF Honey Brown it's like a silkier more relaxed version of it but longer a little bit longer so overall I'm I'm still liking Aaliyah this is my second time wearing her she looked good out and about like in real life if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family um make sure you are subscribed your notifications are on so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys